Hello. I hope you're having a good day. Good morning. I am Carolyn Bosley, an independent stamping up demonstrator. And you are joining us within our Inky Gatherings videos. So, so glad to have you here this morning. We have been working with designer series paper. So I found this idea and I just thought this will give us another little tip and trick to do with our papers. It's almost time for the new papers to come on board so we want to get rid of all the papers we've got of course so that we can buy more. Um, I'm a paper hoarder so I did not use I, I did not used to use my paper. I loved looking at them and they were gorgeous. But I have decided they are beautiful and others need to enjoy them too. So, this is a sample of what we're going to be doing. We're going to be using a little bit different colors and maybe different embellishment. Um, but this is the designer series paper used with basic white and pool party. And I also used the Peaceful Moment stamp set. And I'm doing sympathy cards today. Sadly, unfortunately, I need a couple sympathy cards. I'm also going to be changing it up, and I'm going to be using Mossy Meadow. Even though we're using the same designer series paper, just changing the cardstock colors to Mossy Meadow and ink color to Mossy Meadow. Okay. If you see something you like today, or if there's something, uh, another item that you like, please go to the inkygatherings.stampingup.net, click on the shop now, and you will be able to purchase any of the Stamping Up items that are currently available. And remember, the new catalog begins on May 4th. We're so excited, so, so excited. And I have to tell you, as a demonstrator, one of my perks is that I have been able to preview that catalog and they have just come in. So I'm going to be issuing those out very, very shortly. So let's get started. We're going to start with a base. That is your standard half sheet base, um, which is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Okay, I'm just going to fold that in half. I have scored it already. We're just going to use our bone folder though, and get a good crease. Okay, so there we go. Then we also are going to have an inside layer, if you remember. This inside layer was pool party and then layered another piece of basic white on top. What I have now is mossy meadow and a basic white. So we're going to go ahead, open up our ink, and get this started. If you're new and not familiar with your stamp or your ink pad, it's always good to just stamp on a scrap sheet first. Ooh, and that's the outside greeting. I'm glad I did that, of course, because I'm wanting the inside greeting. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, there we go. Beautiful mossy meadow green. Stamping it up toward the top because then I still have uh, an area to sign or write below. I'm going to turn this over. And today I am using the liquid adhesive Tombow glue. If you remember when you're, I'm getting down close to the end, but when you start, start in the middle. That way if a big glob comes out, it stays in the center and can spread without spreading out around your edges and making sticky on your card. So I'm just going to layer this centered the best I can. I'm not a measurer, I should say. So for those of you that um, need to measure, you can. But this is just a standard layer of four by five and a quarter. And then this one is three and three quarter by five. So Mossy Meadow is four by five and a quarter. The basic white is three and three quarter by five. And it's just the standard layer for your card. So if this was going on the front, it would be your standard layer. Instead, we are placing it inside. And again, I'm just going to start in the center. And that way, those blobs come out. They will spread and not spread off 
the edge of my card to have everything sticky and sealed shut or sealed shut. Okay, so there we go. Now, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to go ahead and flip over to the back because I have just an old um, handmade by with the Stampin' Up copyright on there. So if I decide to put this in my cell bin, I'm covered. Um, if not, it's still got my hand stamped on there, and I go ahead and sign it so I don't forget. Okay. So we're done with the inside and the back that quickly. So then the next thing I did was cut another piece of Mossy Meadow cardstock. Okay. That Mossy Meadow cardstock I cut at three and a half by four and a half. Okay. So basically, it started out as a single piece. Okay. Four and a half by three and a half. I simply cut it in the middle to get the four equal squares or four equal triangles or rectangles. I'm so sorry. Um, four equal rectangles. So that made each one of these pieces be one and three quarter. So they're one and a three quarter this way and they are two and a quarter height. Okay. Then my DSP piece, let's see if I get these in the right order here. No. I knew that if I was not careful, I would be in trouble on this. So let's see if we can get them back together the way they need to be. And boy, I am not having luck. I could have swore I had them the way we needed them. Because I want them, oh, those two match up. There we go. There we go. There we go. So I started out with a square of DSP that was three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So basically it was a quarter inch smaller than my green. My meadow moss again, it was cut at three and a half by four and a half for one piece and then cut that down to size. This one is three and a quarter by four and a quarter and then cut this at half at two and an eighth and one and five eighths. Okay, there you go. And then what you will decide as you can see now, if you want to put all four pieces on there, you can and then add your greeting on top. I sort of call it, I, I, there was a, a technique that we've done in the past called triple stamping. This I'm going to call triple piecing, simply because we cut this um, into play, or cut this into the sizes we need. Then we are going to layer it on the green. So let's just go ahead and do that. Get this, get this going. Again, I don't measure it on there. I just, I eyeball it. And I know some people don't do that, so feel free to pull out the ruler. You've got a ruler on your trimmer most of the time. Or if you have grid paper, this is wonderful grid paper uh, that can be purchased from Stampin' Up. I actually use both sides. The other side is one that I used last week, and it was in inches. Um, and it got dirty and messed up, so I just turned it over to use the opposite side okay gotta make sure that i am good here yes i am okay live video well this is not live i'm pre-recording this for you guys to watch later and but you can see that I'm just, I'm putting those back into play. Let's pull this one down here so you can see this maybe a little bit too. Okay. 
And then what I am going to do is choose one of these rectangles that will move away. Okay. So in other words, this may be here, this may be here, this and this. But then I'm going to decide which one I want to take away. Which one do I want to take away? On the sample that I had done, I removed the top left. This is hard because it's gorgeous paper. But don't throw it away because you can use this as a center on another card if you need to. Or just one down in the, the corner, uh, you know, and then your verse. So don't throw whatever one you're getting rid of. But I do believe it's going to be that one. So I can, yeah, I think this is the one that's going away. And then I will bring out my greeting and the mossy meadow. With deepest sympathy. Okay. Then you're just going to use your glue. And again, I'm using Tombow. When I'm piecing things like this, Tombow liquid, all-purpose all adhesive, gives you just that little bit of what I call wiggle room so that you can shift and move if you don't feel you have it exactly straight is what you want it to be or need it to be. Um, this is another thing to where if you have used... A lot of your sheet but you have just that small square left that you can cut into pieces it's going to be great for you to be able to make some cards you can always get this much done leave the greeting off and then make it whatever type of card you need this could easily be a birthday card a sympathy card thinking of you congratulations wedding card just anything and again just using your sam your um, scrap papers or just cut a piece off and go with it um so there we have it oh, i love the look i just love the look of that um again triple stamping was a technique this reminded me of except we are triple papering um and placing it down instead of stamping so it's a great great fun thing Let's see if we can find, oh, the red, red is not going to work, I don't think, on a sympathy card. Um, no, I know, picky me, picky me. Okay, I'm going to see what these glittery gems i know normally i would not use glittery gems with a sympathy card however these are not full glitter um if you see them in person and i'll hold it up here in just a second to see if i can show it's um it's not a thick thick glitter at all so I'm hoping you can see that. Very small. I'll move that down just a tad. But there we go. Okay. Thank you for joining me. If you have any questions, please email me. And go, jo go, go join us. Um, if you're new to us, join the group. Go to the website um, and see us at stampingup.net inkygatherings.stampingup.net. You can also visit us on our Facebook page, um, Inky Gatherings, under Facebook groups. So, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day, and we shall see you next time. Happy stamping!